These are my tools to create awesome PS3 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. We got a really great PS3 related game tutorial. I'm going to show you how to take a PSP ISO, assuming that it's compatible, and convert it to a PKG file and then install it on your jailbroken or CFW PS3. So let's go ahead, run through the process, and I'll talk about this in more detail as we go along. So today's example, I have a Retro City Rampage DX.ISO. I'm not going to tell you where you're going to get your ISO files from, so just get an ISO file or a CSO file. Once you have that, Go to the more info section. I got a link where you can download this PSP to PS3.executable. Download it and extract it and then run it. In this main menu, it's going to ask you um, browse to where your game file is. I'm going to go ahead and browse to my ISO, actually. So here it is. Open. It might give you some warnings about patching. That's okay. I'm going to leave all this stuff here the same. I'm going to rename the game a little bit because I got some funny characters. Okay. And build package. It might You might have a prompt like this. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and go through this. Okay, so real quick about PSP game compatibility. Not every single game works when you convert it for PS3 format. I don't know there's an official website that has PS3 and PSP game compatibility. I'll have a link in the more info section of some websites that I know of. Um, you might get this text file that comes up. That's okay. Exit. And this comes up. That's okay. Say okay. And then this will come up. So what I was saying previously was... Not every single PSP game is going to work. I know that as a fact. So it's going to be hit or miss game compatibility. All I can really say is just try it out for your different games. Okay, so once you're done, it's going to ask you where do you want to save your PKG file. I'm just going to save it in my same game directory here, and that's it. Okay, so now if I go back here, here's my PKG file. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to say send to my USB thumb drive, which just so happens to be FAT32 format, and here we go. Or you can go ahead and use a FAT32 format external hard drive. So this game works. I tested it earlier, so that's why I'm using this as an example. If you guys are testing some games and they work or they do not work, I would appreciate it if you let us know. And maybe, just maybe, we'll create a, a community PSP game compatibility, compatibility list excuse me, as necessary. So let's, so let's jump into the next portion of this game tutorial, and I'll show you how to install the PKG file and then also run it. So let's do this. All right, in this next portion of the video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install the PKG file and also run the game. So let's do this. So I'm going to log into my local account. Now, I'm using Rebug 4.80.1 Dex, but it should work on other CFW, I would think. So I'm going to go to Package Manager, Install Package Files, Standard, and here's the package file, and install it from my USB thumb drive. Luckily, this is only 129 megabytes, so it's not that large of a game. It may depend on your particular game. In the video description, I'll have links to other websites that I could find that may be related to PSP compatibility lists on the PS3. And, of course, if you guys have websites, let me know, and I'll add it to the video description as well. And then uh, let us know as well if you have games that work or don't work, and that will help out the game community in a nutshell. Okay, so we're just about done installing. And then once it's done, it's going to show up on the dashboard as its own selectable game. Great. So here it is. And let's run it. Now, just to clarify, this is a PSP game remaster. It's not a PSN version that I installed, for example. This is just a game that I just happen to have that works out great on my PS3. I did not do anything special in terms of PSP memory cards. The system will take care of it by itself. But, of course, if you have issues, by all means, go ahead and create a memory card if need to. So I'm going to go ahead, just skip some of this stuff here. Oh crap. So that is today's video game tutorial. Do you guys have any nitpicky questions in the comment here on the YouTube page? I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.